For generations, humanity has gazed at Mars, our enigmatic red neighbor, its rusty glow a constant companion in our night sky. From ancient astronomers mapping its movements to modern stargazers peering through telescopes, Mars has always sparked our curiosity and imagination. We've long wondered if Mars was ever like Earth, a world with blue skies, flowing water, and perhaps even life. The similarities in their surface features, like valleys and polar ice caps, have fueled endless speculation about a shared past. But for decades, our image of Mars was that of a cold, barren desert, battered by relentless dust storms and stripped of its atmosphere. It seemed lifeless, a world frozen in time. Now, thanks to China's Zhurong rover, that perception is changing. The rover's discoveries have revealed evidence of ancient Martian beaches, gentle slopes and subtle patterns in the soil, shaped by waves and currents, now buried beneath layers of red dust. This isn't just a hint of water. It's compelling proof that a vast ocean once filled Mars's northern lowlands, stretching for thousands of kilometers. Imagine the scale, a sea so immense it would rival some of Earth's greatest bodies of water. Picture a Mars transformed, dramatic coastlines, waves crashing on sandy shores, and a sky that was once thicker, warmer, and perhaps even blue. The planet's climate may have supported rain, rivers, and lakes, creating a dynamic and ever-changing landscape. This discovery changes everything about our search for life beyond Earth. It suggests that Mars was not always inhospitable, but may have once been a cradle for the chemistry of life. Where there are beaches and oceans, there's the dynamic environment where life's building blocks could form. Tides, waves, and sunlight create the perfect laboratory for complex molecules to assemble, just as they did on early Earth. The discovery, published in a leading scientific journal, is the strongest evidence yet that Mars was once vibrant and possibly habitable. It's a breakthrough that excites scientists around the world, opening new chapters in planetary science and astrobiology. As we study the data from Zhurong, we're not just looking at rocks. We're uncovering the ghost of an ancient ocean, and perhaps the lingering traces of life itself. Each new finding brings us closer to understanding Mars's lost world. The story of Mars is no longer just about a distant, desolate planet. It's now a story about the possibility of life in the universe, and our own place within it. The search for Mars' ancient ocean led scientists to Utopia Planitia, a colossal basin stretching across the northern lowlands of the Red Planet. This immense, windswept plain, once thought to be just another barren expanse, holds clues to a watery past that could reshape our understanding of Mars. Some researchers believe this could have been the ocean's floor, a place where water once pooled and perhaps even teemed with life billions of years ago. In May 2021, China's Zhurong rover made history by landing here. Unlike any previous Mars rover, Zhurong was equipped with ground-penetrating radar, essentially geological X-ray vision that could peer beneath the surface. While cameras and spectrometers reveal only what's on the surface, Zhurong's radar could probe deep underground, mapping hidden layers of rock, ice, and sediment that have been undisturbed for eons. Using two radar frequencies, the rover captured both fine details just beneath the surface, like thin layers of dust and sand, and broader, deeper structures reaching down to 80 meters, revealing the complex geology hidden below the Martian crust. The rover's landing site was carefully chosen at the boundary between what may have been the ancient ocean and the rugged southern highlands, a transition zone, and the perfect place to search for a buried shoreline or evidence of ancient water activity. As Zhurong rolled steadily across the plain, its radar quietly scanned for echoes of a lost world, searching for patterns and signals that might point to ancient shorelines, sediment deposits, or even frozen remnants of water. The patient, methodical search paid off. Back on Earth, scientists pored over the data, piecing together a new map of Mars' hidden past, a landscape no one had ever seen before, now revealed layer by layer. Mars was about to give up one of its oldest secrets, and the world would soon see the red planet in a whole new light. When Zhurong's radar data first arrived, it sent a wave of excitement through the scientific community. For years, researchers had speculated about what secrets might be hidden beneath Mars's dusty surface. But now, for the first time, they had a direct window into the planet's subsurface. 
Beneath the surface, the radar revealed a series of distinct sloping layers, classic signs of sediment deposited by flowing water. These weren't just random patterns, they were organized, structured, and unmistakably shaped by ancient processes. These inclined layers, known as clinoforms, matched the patterns geologists see in Earth's beaches and ancient shorelines. The similarities were striking, suggesting that Mars once experienced the same powerful forces of water and waves that shape our own coasts. The radar even picked up subtle features sculpted by wave action, like beach cusps and backwash swales, tiny details that only form where water meets land and where waves repeatedly wash over the shore. The angle and thickness of these layers told a vivid story of a dynamic, shifting coastline. Over millions of years, tides and waves would have gradually built up and reshaped the shore, leaving behind a geological record frozen in the Martian crust. For the first time ever, scientists had direct ground-truth evidence of a Martian shoreline, something that had only been hinted at in orbital images before. This wasn't just a theory or a blurry image from space. It was the actual, physical structure of a beach, perfectly preserved beneath the Martian dust, as if time itself had stopped. The rover's findings offered undeniable proof that Mars once hosted a vast, stable body of liquid water, an ancient ocean that may have covered much of the planet's northern lowlands. The implications for Mars's history, climate, and its potential to have supported life are profound. It opens up new questions about where that water went and what else might be hidden beneath the surface. For a time, the red planet was blue, a world with oceans, shorelines, and perhaps even the conditions for life. What's most striking is how familiar these Martian features are. The sloping layers and gentle gradients are textbook examples of Earth's coastal geology. Scientists compared the Martian data to Earth's beaches and found a perfect match in the angles and scale of the deposits. This means Mars's ancient ocean had waves, driven by a thicker atmosphere and winds. The scale of the deposits suggests a long-lived stable body of water, formed over millions of years. Mars's wet era wasn't a brief event. It was a sustained chapter in the planet's history. For a time, Mars and Earth may have been more alike than we ever imagined. The echoes of ancient waves still linger beneath the Martian dust. Mars's beaches tell us it was once a world in motion. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. The research team considered every alternative wind, river deltas, volcanic activity. Windblown dunes have steep angles and lack the sorting seen in the radar data. River deltas are too localized. The Martian deposits were too widespread and uniform. Volcanic layers are more uniform and lack the sloping clinoforms of water-laid sediment. The location, the gentle slopes, the match with Earth's beaches, all pointed to a coastline, not a dune, delta, or lava flow. The process of elimination left only one answer. These were the buried remnants of a beach bordering a vast ocean. The puzzle pieces fit perfectly. Mars's northern basin was once a sea, its shores shaped by waves. The red planet's blue past is now undeniable. This discovery transforms our vision of ancient Mars. No longer just a world of quiet lakes, Mars was once dynamic, an active planet with a full hydrological cycle. Water evaporated, formed clouds, rained on highlands and flowed back to the sea. Waves and shifting shorelines mean Mars had weather, wind, and a thick greenhouse atmosphere. The climate was warm enough for liquid water to persist for millions of years. Vast canyons and river valleys now make sense as part of a planet-wide water system. Mars was once an integrated living world, much like early Earth. Over time, it lost its magnetic field, atmosphere, and water, becoming the frozen desert we see today. Mars's story is a cautionary tale about planetary change and habitability. Studying its past teaches us about the fragility of worlds, including our own. The confirmation of a Martian ocean electrifies the search for life. On Earth, life began in water, often in dynamic coastal environments. Mars' ancient beaches offered the same mix of water, energy, and chemistry. Waves and tides create microenvironments where complex molecules can form. These buried sediments could preserve signs of ancient Martian life, shielded from radiation for billions of years. Future missions can now target these coastal deposits, drilling for biosignatures. 
Mars wasn't just briefly wet, it was persistently habitable. The next great question, did life ever take hold there? Now, we know exactly where to look. This discovery was a triumph of international collaboration, Chinese and American scientists working together. Zhurong's data, combined with global expertise, unlocked Mars' hidden past. The questions ahead are bigger than ever. How long did the ocean last? Did it harbor life? Future missions will drill into these ancient beaches, map the full extent of the ocean, and maybe even return samples to Earth. Mars is no longer just the red planet, it's a world with a lost blue past. As we explore, we're not just studying another planet, we're learning about the conditions that make life possible. The story of Mars is far from over. In many ways, it's just beginning.